Yes, now we're live. Hey, <laughs> everybody. Hello. Oh, it's been quite a time the last uh, 20 minutes here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've done this from the shop so many times, and it's always a challenge. It's always a new challenge. <laughs> Something new to learn every day, just like my knitting. Good evening, everybody. I'm Ellen Lewis from Crazy For You. And I'm Jenny Stein from Crazy For You. And we are here tonight to share with you our favorite summer sweaters that we have knit. How many summer sweaters have you knit? Well, I brought a lot of them with me, so probably, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 15 to 20 at least, you know, which isn't that many when you think about how uh, I've been here 14 years. <laughs> but you know, they're not, you, you knit other stuff, I right? knit other stuff too. Yeah. But, yeah. So, so yeah. my thing tonight was just to sort of talk about, you know, people think, I said, I said, so I ran into somebody today and I said, she said, cause she watches the podcast. She says, what's the podcast about tonight? I said, oh, it's about summer sweaters and she doesn't knit, but she, here's what she said. Oh, I guess for people who get cold <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's certainly one way to think about it, but yeah. not the only way. Yeah. I mean, summer sweaters are for summer. <laughs> well, they can be short sleeves. They're short sleeves. They they're sleeveless. In lightweight, in lightweight yarns. Lightweight right? yarns. I mean, it's not like you're making a wool sweater for the summertime, particularly in Southern Maryland. No. So, you might do that in New Hampshire. You know, that's it's really interesting. I was thinking about it as I was pulling sweaters. Ellen had suggested that I bring some stuff with me, you know, of my, my favorites over the years. And there is a big difference between we were in New England for 30 plus years before moving to the DC area and then coming down here. Uh, and there is a very much a different kind of um, style that you need and a different weight that you need. Uh, I can remember we used to have a, have a summer home uh, in on the Block Island area, looking at Block Island, Block Island Sound in Rhode Island. And for the July, we had a fire in the fireplace because it was chilly. So you definitely needed to have sweaters. And I think the like a lot of the Rowan things that are out, the patterns that Rowan puts out, are remind me very much of that sort of thing. Because when you think about it, in the UK, it tends to be right. chillier than it is here. Wouldn't you say that the UK is maybe at the same latitude or is it longitude, latitude, which is the one that latitude, latitude same latitude as like New England. It is. It's actually, I think, um, I was trying to think that there, there was maybe a thing, like Seattle uh, like, even. Uh, yeah. Even further. So, you know, like more Maine, you know, right. So, you know, right. So, um, so, you know, th there is, there is that. So, so definitely I had sweaters for New England. Yeah. And you always see the pictures of the people in the sweaters. You right. know, on the beach. On the beach. The yeah. Rocky Beach. Yes, on the Rocky Beaches of Maine, which is absolutely gorgeous. All right. Hi, Ellen. Or let's see who we got. So everything's all messed up because my regular camera's not working. And my sweet husband, I called him, oh, my regular camera's not working. Could you bring me a new cable? So he brings me a new cable. But I have this all Jerry Rig different camera. So that's why I'm a little flustered. <laughs> that's why I had to get up and answer the door. because He's bringing me the cable, but it's too late. Uh, hey, Valerie. Nice to see you. Hey, Jal. Happy Wednesday, Polly. Hey, Mary. Nice to see you. Anna. God, great. I'm so glad you guys are here. Good, good, good. So who is excited about the idea of summer sweaters? I mean, you know what I'm talking about, right? Summer sweater, right? Okay. One of my favorites. I mean, this, this was such a fun sweater to knit. I had one of those. Yes, you have one of those. Yours yeah. is all pinks. Yeah, I gave it away. <laughs> So I was looking at my Ravelry account today, trying to figure out, okay, what should I bring? I have so many knit sweaters that I've knit so many summer sweaters that I gave away. It was before I understood about fit. <laughs> well, so, actually, I was wearing one of those sweaters you gave away the other day. <laughs> it fits you just great, didn't I it? was wearing it yesterday at work. Was that yes. the pink one? The pink one, the pink vest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pink vest. Yeah. And I got several compliments on it. Yeah, and he said, well, that's a beautiful sweater. And I actually Which pink vest. I the long, the long one. Um, God, I don't remember this. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't make it, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> pink vest. It's kind of a rosy pink. It's not a pink pink. Um, but it is pink. Shocking. But it is pink. Of course it's pink. <laughs> Shocking. Of course it's pink. Um, but you, you, 
didn't care for it because you felt like it was too long. Too so long. It went, went down too far. Oh, well, you'll have to wear it tomorrow or, or Friday or whenever. Or Friday, whenever. Okay, well, I'll, hold on. and I'm sure I'll wear it again since I'm I just sure wore it yesterday, but I will, I'll bring it in so you can, so I can see. So you can see it. Yeah, giving away stuff. I mean, I remember I knit this really cute top, that Sally Melville top, mm -hmm. a simple summer sweater. Um, and it was great, but it had it like it was one of the first things I'd done that had real waist shaping mm -hmm. in it. Remember that? Yeah. And the waistline hit me right about mid rib, <laughs> mid rib cage that yeah. flared out of my actual waist. Yeah. Because yeah. Sally's really tiny. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, she's really short. Mm -hmm. All right. Who else has joined us? Hey, Eveline. Hey, Alicia. Gwen. Nice to see you guys. Oh, this is going to be fun. So, what's your favorite? That's your favorite. Here, I'll this show you one of my favorites. My <laughs> favorite. This is my favorite summer sweater. I knew you were going to bring that one as your favorite. <laughs> I knew. Because I wear it all the time. <laughs> right? I have one that looks like that, but I gave it, well, it looked like that. It did, well, it probably still looks like it that. It looks like I that gave it away. But I gave it away. <laughs> Jenny doesn't do sleeveless anymore. But I love sleeveless. And I especially love, I love things that are kind of cut in at the shoulder. Do you like that? Do you know what I'm talking about? That kind of haltery kind of look. Anyway, I love this. And in case you're interested, this is a free pattern on Knitty. Uh, back at, before there was Ravelry, there before was there Knitty. Before there was Ravelry, right. And they had... Knitty.com. Right. It was like the first online knitting magazine. magazine. Mm -hmm. yeah. That must have started, what, 2003, 2002? If anybody remembers mm -hmm. exactly when Knitty started. Or, or Google it. Yeah, Google it, see when Knitty started. But they came out four times a year and it was a knitting magazine and their patterns were all free. And it was a place where designers could submit stuff and it was all very curated. Yeah. Um, and um, if you weren't sure about, you know, anybody I think could actually submit something. Sure. It didn't have to be a designer, just like in Ravelry. Anybody right. can submit something. Um, but there was a board, I think, that, that yeah. went through it. The editorial board kind of went through and made sure that they would vet everything. Right. And so, um, it was a big deal. Yeah. I mean, if you got published on Ravelry, that was that was really kind of a big deal. Do you remember Susan Goldstein was yes, published? Yes, yeah, she was published on, you know, on Knitting. She yeah, was on, knitting. on Knitting. Right. Yeah, she was published on Knitting. And, and also um, Lisa Wilson. Do you remember Lisa Wilson? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. She was published a couple times on Knitting. Mm -hmm. yeah. She had some cool socks mm -hmm. and she did a Nora sweater. But anyway, this one is called Petri. P-E-T-R-I-E. I think I might have linked it in the um, the notes to this mm -hmm. video. But I love it because it's just got this cool cowl. You know, nowadays we would do a cowl like that with short rows. Yeah. Right. That was but, just extra. But yeah. this in, back in the day, this was done with, can you see it? It has um, increases. So the increases start just about mid bust on either side and create this extra fabric that drapes down. And uh, it's got a turned hem. So that was cool. Turned hem at the bottom, turned hem at the top. But this is the sweater that I will tell anybody who listens to me, anybody who will sit still long enough to listen to me. Knit this in 2000, whatever, early, before 2007. Yeah, maybe. So Because I knit this out of Rowan Creative Linen. Was, okay. it the was it the Nashua? Yes. Yeah, Nashua. Yes. It was from Nashua. It was from a line that Rowan had back in the day. Nashua. Oh, look Nashua. at you. This was Na yep. this is Nashua Linen, too. The same yarn as mm -hmm. Rowan Creative Linen. The same as Creative Linen. Half right. and half cotton linen. Mm -hmm. How many times have you washed and, and dried that? Worn and washed and dried, right? Uh, a lot. A lot, right? <laughs> I would say probably a hundred, hundreds of times. I'm going to say at, at least, I mean, half a dozen times a year. Right. Yeah. For however many years that's been. For how been. many years, right. Yeah, so, a long, long yeah. time. And the fabric, honestly, people, it still looks brand new. Mm -hmm. It's really, right. really that good. And it's still that good. Yeah. You know, it's still mm -hmm. that good. I love this yarn. I love this yarn so much. Another thing I want to point out, this is not a commercial for Rowan Cotton Linen. This just sounds like it. I knit this at 22 stitches over four inches. And the fabric looks perfectly nice and drapey, right? 
this unit was, that this was at probably 18. A, uh, yeah, 18 to 18 to 20. I don't remember exactly what. This I was. do because that was a Barocco pattern. It's a Barocco pattern. Yeah. Except I put sleeves. I changed the sleeves. Did you? Yes. How did it, you change that? It had a little cap sleeve. Oh. And I put a real sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I just took another and then and then I put the same kind of edging on the bottom of the sleeve as you know kind of what was around the neck. You just made your own little pattern, didn't I you? I did. I did. So, but that's nice. Yeah, so, anyway, but, but it's yeah. very comfortable to wear. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very cool and comfortable to wear. I love it. I don't think that they have quite the uh, the color range anymore. No. Yeah. There. There were. You know, obviously, I mean, I don't have anything like that bright pink. No hot know. pink in the. And color I, and I and actually, my Petri was a real bright red. Oh, did you do a Petri? I did. Mm -hmm. What did you do that in? The linen. It's the same thing. Oh, oh okay. linen, but that's the one that I no longer have. Mm. Mm. You should have given it to me. I'd have worn it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would have been too big for you. Now, now, let's yeah. see who else is here. Hey, Ellen. Hey, Jenna. Hey, Colleen. Nice to see you. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see. Leonard Town is about the same latitude as southern Spain and Sicily, Italy. Yeah, okay. Well, that Ooh. makes sense. Southern uh -huh. Spain. Yeah, that's why. It makes me want a glass of sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather go for a nice dark red wine. <laughs> Maybe we could have one of those next time. I should have thought about that, but I was too busy. You're busy. You were dorking with this. Yeah, doing the technical stuff. Have a chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> have a chocolate instead. Okay. What else do I love? All right. The pattern on Ravelry does not have as much drape as yours, Ellen. Okay. That's so, because you added. Right. No, no. It's because. All right. So the reason mine is different is because I continue to decrease at the neckline on the at the armhole. I mean, I continue to decrease at the armhole. So they have you going up kind of straight after a little bit of decrease and I continued to decrease and that gave the front a little more. Plus when you wear it this way, it has less straight, but it's about the same. It's about the same. If you decide you want to make this and you want to make it more like mine, I will be happy to help you with that. But um, yeah. So anyway, it's a really cute sweater. But I would say that nowadays there are probably cuter ways to make sh a drape front. A drape front, probably. Like yeah, short, short rows. rows. Mm -hmm. I would recommend that one that we did the middle on, the uh, cowl neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Everybody did that. Everybody, yeah. That would be that would be a better way. And I think they used short rows in that. Mm -hmm. Did you make one of these? These are going back. So we're going back into the way back machine. Way backs, yeah. Did you make one of these? No. The shoots and ladders? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a crazy looking sweater, I know. But let me tell you, every time I wear this, people compliment it. You're not mm -hmm. not only knitters who are like, oh, that's a cool pattern. What is that pattern? But people who are like not knitters they're like oh that's a cool sweater so this is by chris bilsma and just like this so one, is this is chris Bilsma, right so yep. chris bilsma was you know pre-ravelry and i don't know that she gets the the um credit that she deserves because she wasn't out there on ravelry no back mm -hmm. in the day but her stuff is really cute and this is done with these cables and then there's three pearl stitches in between and then you just drop them so you've got all of this open. See how open that is? You know, it's like your own little air conditioning in there. But anyway, I like this because it feels like you're wearing nothing. It hits at a nice length. It's got this split at the side. And you can wear it just like over anything. And it's like, interesting. That's the split on the side, which is a very in thing now. Right. And Chris was doing this. Yeah. 20 12 years, years ago. ago, at least. Oh, more. It's more so okay so she was here she was in what? 2006 before no. i had la plata well, i know let's see because i went up and picked her up after i was working here yeah you started in like 2005 2006 seven 2007 okay so 2007 so how Somewhere many years ago is there. that mm -hmm. 13 years ago 13 13 and a half yeah wow we're getting old well i certainly am <laughs> It's not so bad as my father used to say. We right. consider the alternative. Right, consider the alternative. I'm uh, I'm on the right side of the earth. Yes, absolutely. All right. So this is a cute sweater. This is worked in a like a DK or a worsted weight cotton. This was worked in a in a DK cotton silk blend that that they used to have in a line that doesn't exist anymore. Debbie Bliss. 
This is a yarn called Cafe. That's really pretty. All right, let's see. Thanks, Eo. It is cute. Yeah, that is a fun one. Pearl Soho Crisscross. Okay, wait a minute. Alicia Waters. What? Who is the designer for the crisscross top? Yep, Pearl Soho. Pearl Soho has some really cute stuff. Has everybody looked at that? Ellen, you're doing that, right? Who else? Let's see. Yes. Okay, so the crisscross top is cute. What have you got? Bring stuff. Bring some of yours. Um, okay, well, there, there was a period of time where I was kind of into um, Elspeth Lovell. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. And that was go. also back probably around 2010, 9, 10. Earlier. Earlier, 8. <laughs> that was from the very first Elspeth Lovell book. Yeah, and, and, and all the, I mean, the, this has to be old enough because it is a sleeveless one when I was still considering wearing sleeveless. And I got to admit that I still wear this. I mean, I love this. This truly, you know, um, it just was, it's comfortable um, and the, it just. Can you see that cable? Can you it's see such a pretty cable. Right. That falls in the category of fun to knit and fun to right. wear. Yeah. So. And, I, and the cable's in the back, too. Although I don't think you had to do the cable in the back. I think I chose to do the cable in the back. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so, anyway, is that, that's not Jared. This, which, the... That one. The name of it? Yeah. It's called uh, Ilva. Okay. Did y, you do this one, Y-L-V-A. Did yeah. you do that one? Uh, it's similar. Yeah. It, I did not make that one, but yeah. So I did similar. one similar to that. It's yeah. got a cable in the, in the front. Mm -hmm. You can see that... Elsbeth level, it's got this whole Viking thing going yeah, on. Yeah, that, that, that's Viking. what it was. It was the Viking, the Viking right. stuff. Right. So, so anyway, that that's my the sleeveless one that I brought. You'll, you'll so see. this is hempathy, that's right? Hempathy. Yeah. But mm -hmm. this would be nice in cotton glacé. It would. This would, would be, be very, very nice in cotton, cotton glacé. Mm -hmm. You want something that has sort of a little bit of structure. Mm -hmm. Hempathy had a good bit of structure. What was this on three? This is on the tiny no, needle. No, no, no. It wouldn't have been on a three. Not for me. <laughs> You sure? <laughs> yeah, maybe a five, you know, but I don't think it was anything smaller than a five. No. It might even have been a six. No way. Yeah. Really? Really. Uh -huh. I think so. I'm pretty sure this one was on, I don't know. I don't know. I wear this all the time. This is an old Actually, sweater. I can tell you. And I love that. Oh, you have the, oh my God. She has the patterns right here with her. Well, I looked them all up because I figured she was going to ask me what the name of it was. And I was going to go, I don't remember the name of it. You know, <laughs> she'll remember the name of it, but I won't remember the name of it. So, I do remember. Although, actually, I don't think I do have this thing for the Il for, for Ilva. Yeah, uh, you do. I have that, but I, this, I just have the stitch chart. Um, oh, size five needle. My notes. My notes. Look at you. <laughs> size five needle. Good mm -hmm. job. Yeah. Uh, and this was this was my little swatch information of how big it was when I before I threw it in the washing machine. Very impressive. <laughs> so, see? See? She didn't even need me to tell her to swatch. Yeah. What are you guys working on? Are you working on winter things or summer things? Tell me what you're doing in the comments. Mm -hmm. huh? I'm working on a great big spring sweater, fuzzy magnolia. I'm loving it. Yeah. I wish I brought it tonight. I feel oh, like I want to knit it i know i had it in the sun this morning i was working on it mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. my world just sort of fell apart oh. what's that which in the chair that, that that's the one i was telling you but oh so this, this this was like you know okay this this is sort of like i started this last year but that's the same square i'm wearing <laughs> well not really that, man i mean this is this is what i started last year and um and it didn't really get finished until after it was too cold to wear it. <laughs> is that a custom fit? No, this is a Rowan. This is oh, a, this is, Rowan. is that paper or cotton or this this is the uh, Summerlight DK. Yeah, but the name of the pattern. Oh, the name of the pattern? I bet it's called cotton. Um I'm not even sure I have that one here. I'm I'm not sure I have that one with me. I was just wasn't that from bored. mode? That was from last year's mode. It was in the mode, yes. It was from last year's mode. Yep. I think that was paper. Paper. Actually, I, yeah, you're right. I think it was paper. Anyway, you know. Pretty. It still it still has lots of stuff that lots of ends. Has to, strings. It has strings that are, you know. You know, to, it's not a law. You don't have to weave your ends in. I know. I know, but I I I would rather I would rather. 
<laughs> are you a perfectionist, Jenny? I wouldn't call me a perfectionist. No, there are plenty of repair things. What? <laughs> there are plenty of repair things that have been done on it. So, you know, I'm not a perfectionist. No, I will find my way around something. Yeah. So it yeah, doesn't have so to be will, perfect. So it will look fine. Right. And then I'll good be happy. enough. I, I'll be happy with it. Good enough so, is good enough. It's good enough. Yeah. All right. right. But cool. But that said, the rest of my stuff that, that said to Ellen, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring all these things in and they're all gonna look the same. And she said, oh, Yeah. That's okay. Because there is. I mean, there's a certain style for me. All right, let me have to look. Yeah. All right. Jenna is like Alicia's working on Emma B in linen. All right, that's mm -hmm. awesome. We have I have an Emma here to show you. Jenna's working on summer, crazy tea and rituals. Anne is working both winter and summer work in projects progress yes good girl mm -hmm. valerie working on the pineberry tea cool whitney is working on spring summer but she wants to make some summer tops soon too whitney just finished her first sweater she did the uh keisha sweater the keisha sweater and she did it cropped so cute oh, well yeah there's a good summer sweater yeah i'm mm -hmm. gonna post it. oh i didn't even think about that i'm gonna <laughs> post it on uh I'm going to post that on Instagram so you guys can see. Mm -hmm. All right. What else you got? Um, well, as I said, th this is the Lucia, which was from the, in the Shibui stuff. Again, you can see that, you know, there's this sort of T with the, you know, sleeve on it. Um, so, Jenny, this is a this is a thing that I like to think about and talk about with, like, knitters, you know. Knit your personal style, mm -hmm. right? So this is all very much your personal, your personal style, right? Oh, that's pretty. I love this. This, this again, I mean, it's the style, it's the same kind of it's shape, a t -shirt. but yeah, it's a, it's a t shirt, but it has all of the lace work on it. And again, this, show that close this, up? this was from a, El, another Elspeth, Elspeth Love Old. I said I was definitely into an Elspeth Love Old. Look how pretty period. that is with that, that lace inset front and back. Do you, what do you wear under that? Do you wear a cami under a that? Cami. Do yeah, you? I wear a cami under that. I might go commando under that. <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. <laughs> I probably wouldn't. You know what I do? I get it on and Bill would be like, what are you going to wear under that? <laughs> or over it. What are you going to wear over it? So, uh, Whitney could wear that. Oh, look at that. Now we there's have an another, evening like, t-shirt. <laughs> there's another one. That, and, and actually, I'm, I'm more comfortable. This, this also has some lace, which is hard to see because of the black against the black. Um, but yeah, but I do I wear a cami of some sort under that as well. I'm know. gonna put the, this white shirt under that so everybody can see the lace. Mm -hmm. Can you see the lace? Mm -hmm. so, That's really pretty. So, and this this was what was uh, that yarn called? Boy, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? Right. Uh, this was a was this a Taki Stacy Charles? Maybe it, it was Pertinio was the name. I remember Pertinio <gasps> was, was the name of the That was by SMC sweater. Select. Uh, that yeah. was the company that Rowan used to distribute, or okay. the same company that distributed mm -hmm. Rowan. Mm -hmm. so, that, though, that's a Cocoa Knits. Was that a Cocoa Knits? Wasn't it? No. No? That, I think I did oh, that, that was so. actually from the designer. Yes. Yeah, okay, you're right. S yeah, right. SMC Select. Virginia. This is from that mm -hmm. same book. Mm -hmm. Remember this? This is one that, that mm -hmm. Jenna had liked. Jenna, did yeah. you ever make this? Mm -hmm. This is a vest or a tee or whatever. Also with the with the lace going on, mm -hmm. I love this. I love this kind of thing. This is really long, and you can wear it. I like this because it's so versatile. It's a transitional piece. Yeah, you could mm -hmm. wear it over a tee or, or a blouse, mm -hmm. or just by itself. I need a little, you know, I need to crochet a little chain across mm -hmm. the back to tighten it up a little. Well, I mean something that shows. Oh yeah, because okay. it it falls off my shoulders. Ah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like a little strand. You've seen that. Mm -hmm. Do you think that would look weird? No. Are you lying? No. <laughs> I wouldn't lie. You wouldn't? You, you, you know, I've been fairly forthright. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Ginny is always the one who says exactly what she thinks, which is good. I need that. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I know you will. I can't find paper in mode on Ravelry. All right. Let me find that. I know it's in there. Um, yeah, yes, it was, yes, it was the, the mode, 
right last last summer last summer yeah yeah Yeah, it's very short. Yeah, there, it was, it's called, I'm sorry, it's not paper, it's cotton. Cotton. It's called cotton, my bad. <laughs> but here it is. Whoops. So it's a t-shirt. Ooh, Gail made that. Yes, Gail made, you made the, um, this V-neck one, right, Gail? Didn't you make that? This is a great book, by the way. I thought last season's mode was really special. I love this little one. So this is one I did not knit because I just had too much on my needles, but I really want to. This one called Dijon. Isn't that pretty? That's knit in a cotton glacé. I think I might have to do that. Yeah. We had this sample here, but it was really short. Yes. yes. Remember that? Yeah, remember I do remember. That was? Yeah, it was very, very short. Is Rita, are you watching tonight? Rita, are you watching? Oh, Eveline Markhart. Yes, yeah, she said she, I made several from that book. Yes, you all did. I know Gail made a pretty one from that um, that book, the SMC book. That was a good book. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of good stuff. Is Rita on? Rita, if you are on, I want to show you something. So if you're on, say hi. Well, uh, Whitney was saying she was working Emma B. Okay, I just wanted to show her. This is an Emma. This is Emma A, the coconuts, mm -hmm. in like a ribbon. You know, Emma's from, it, it's the coconuts. And if you've never done a coconuts, you want to do that one, the Emma first. Did you ever do a coconuts? I have not. You're not into it? I don't know. Um, I just, just never got around to it. I think yeah. that's the issue. I just never got around to it. Mm -hmm. There were other things that I was supposed to be doing because my boss had charged me with making things <laughs> she is the worst she yeah, sometimes she I just cracks you. the whip and <laughs> so vicious <laughs> under under his time schedule saying like, you've got to get this done <laughs> i call you in the middle of the night are you busy working on that sweater i wanted you to do <laughs> right. yeah. it is hard anyway this is emma this is the emma the emma with the uh with the like boat neck I did this a little bit longer by starting the neck mm. a little bit later, but I'm not a big short sleeve girl. I may give this one to you too. I'm not a big short <laughs> sleeve girl. I like, I don't know. This one just doesn't, doesn't do it for me, but, and, and it's really my issue. It's, I didn't listen to my own personal style and I went ahead and knit something with short mm. sleeves. Yeah. I mean, I'm a sleeveless You're or a long sleeve or like, three quarter. Yes, uh -huh. Do you remember this yarn? This was that ribbon yarn yep. from Gidifra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a fun one. What else you got? Um, okay. You get a whole bag over there. Well, I was just pulling stuff you know, from the, out of the closet. All of the, the things that hadn't been worn since last summer. Right? Um, th this was all about the all about the, the yarn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I just thought this was fun, and I love wearing this because people always it's like one of those things that people comment on it because. This was kind of a bitch to yeah. knit, though, wasn't it? Yeah. That, that yarn was kind of not that fun to knit. Um, I didn't mind it, but I think, yeah, Maybe there sure were people who were not happy with it, you know, because of the little, all the little Can you see all the little bobbles on there? Yeah, that are sticking out of it. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I like a sharp needle, and I found that the sharp needle was not the best for this particular yarn. <laughs> so. Yes, yeah. that's when you need, like, the Addy yeah. regulars, right. the, the Addy turbos. Right. So, and then th this, so you, I have to show you, I guess, the back of this. This this was the up and down. This was, oh, my, right, right. this was my original up and down that I made years ago, like when we were still. When we had Barocco Glacé. Um, <laughs> yes, right. I think it was the very first thing I bought here was the Barocco Glacé and made this. So, and that was. That, That's um, a pretty yarn. That was always a nice yarn. But it. it it has this, again, I mean, it's the, it's the, <laughs> shocking, the same old, another shocking, another t-shirt, right? <laughs> with the sleeve, except that the sleeve, this is not a set in sleeve. It's just a thing. And it, it's, it's made in one piece. And a number of people made this because I wrote the pattern up. I rewrote the pattern. Um, and 
we had people, we had a lot of people making it. Yeah, um, the up and down tea. The up and down Ginny's tea. up and down tea. I think it's on Ravelry right. by um, Ginny Stein. I'm not sure it is on Ravelry, but at any rate, you know, I just, I just love this. It's so comfortable. So, is this you wash and dry the yeah. machine and everything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. So. That feels nice. I always like the way glacé draped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, glacé was one of your early. Um, it was a ribbon yarn, but I mean, a ribbon yarn is really nothing more than a chainette, but it was, mm. it was flat. It was a fine enough chainette that it lay, it lay flat like a ribbon, Yeah, which mm -hmm. is what a ribbon is, right? what a, rib a ribbon yarn. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. and that's yeah. cool to wear. It is, it was, it, you know, it, it's just a very comfortable and easy to wear. And so it's still, it's still there for me after all these years. Like a good friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. This is for you, Ellen Orr. This is my favorite sweater. I love this sweater. This is called Triton. And this is designed by Shelly Anderson. And it's one of the few garments I have made twice. I made one. I made the first one in a bulky gauge, which was the gauge for the Triton. And I was chatting with Shelly and telling her how much I liked it. And she said, well, I was thinking I would, would do another pattern and re-gauge it for DK. And I said, excellent. I would make it. She said, well, why don't you test knit it for me? So I did. And I love it. This is in um, twig. But I was thinking today, what was I thinking this would be so pretty in? This would be pretty in cotton glacé, but it would also be pretty in... Um, my goodness, I can't think now. It would be pretty and fine lace and kids so case. Mm -hmm. But there was something else that I was thinking it would be really pretty in. I don't know. It'll come to me. But this is nice. This has got that, um, what you call a dolman sleeve. So you can see that it doesn't have a set-in sleeve at all. Can you, can you see how that sleeve comes up and it's mm -hmm. part of the body right here like that? So it's pretty much all one one piece of the body. The, you know, the front, there's no separate sleeve until you pick up and knit down. But this is this is really comfortable to wear. The, the yarn is nice. I like it. I think it's oh, I know what this would be perfect in. This would be perfect in that I was thinking in the Coleman. The new yarn oh, the from new yarn. Queen okay. City. Okay. Yeah, I think this would be. Oh, it would also be pretty in the um, Noro paper. Uh, yes. Have people seen that? Nobody's seen that yet. Did you know Noro has a new yarn made of paper? In mm -hmm. I'm going to feature that on the next podcast. On the next podcast. Yeah, okay. That's mm -hmm. going to be fun. Let's see. Yes. So we want to do, okay. You want to do the up and down. So Alicia wants to do the up and down T. Okay. All right. Which is also kind of a modified dolman, right? When the sleeve sort of just the sleeve, comes yeah, up. It just goes... You just do that in a worsted weight. That would be really right. pretty in the linen. And it's, so you, you, you start, <laughs> it's the best part about this thing. <laughs> you, you if you hate seaming, this is for you. <laughs> well, there is a seam. There's right. there two seams. Um, you start, you cast on and you start at the bottom of the back and you knit your way up all the way. And then you, you know, bind off for the back, neck, right? And then you knit a little more. Knit, knit enough. Well, you've increased here. You've add stitches here for the sleeve. And you continue, you knit it enough here. <laughs> This is hard to explain this way, but you, but knit, you it, knit it up you, and over. So you, you knit, knit it up, up and over, over the and then you have to put stitches back in again. Then you cast on. And then you cast on, and then you work your way down. So the only seams that you have are. You know, from the bottom hem to the edge of the sleeve, and then on the other side. And and they're just mattress stitch seams. And they're just mattress stitch seams. Mm -hmm. So easy, easy, yeah. easy peasy. So, mm -hmm. okay. so I'm going to put in the Wayback Machine. If you have not knit one of these, 
you need to knit one of these. This is one of the great sweaters of the world, uh, I yeah. think. This is called Solo by Chris Bilsma. It is so pretty. Did you knit one of these? I did, but I knitted in that sea silk oh, that right. stretched. You had to rip it out. I ripped it out. So yeah. again, I cut this in a little more at the at the armhole, but this is a great sweater. This is knit in a fingering weight yarn, and it just is so light and so drapey, and there's minimal finishing. The neckline does its own little lace thing. There's so many pretty little details in this. I, I would knit another one of these. In fact, I might do that in summer like four ply. Yeah, that would look that would be great. Wouldn't that be like, pretty? Yeah, it would. Mm -hmm. I think be that would be nice. super nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else you got? Well, those are my pullovers that I brought. Um, I did bring a couple of Cardis. Um, are they summer? They are summer. They are summer. Um, like the one I'm wearing. I mean, the one I'm wearing is a summer cardi because it's all cottons or, you know, and, and, and this, this is my throw on summer. This is called Larkspur. Right? Do you remember when we played around with the collar on yes. this thing on the we shawl collar and doing the, the short, collar. trying to, you know, do the short rows on it. But again, you know, I'm a, that was I'm a cable up. person, huh? That was messed up. The pattern. The was pattern was up. a little, yes. The pattern was a little messed up. Right. Um, but this is this is one that I just kind of have lying around near the kitchen, so that if How'd I you need your buttonholes, just an ordinary buttonhole. All right, nice. That's good. Yeah. So, I'm evaluating. Her. Yes. <laughs> this this is, is beautiful. This is just this, this throw-on sweater. Can you see that? Right. Beautiful. And again, I mean, it's gets thrown in the washing machine. That was knit in a that recycled yeah. indigo yarn. Yeah, recycled it gets cotton. Yeah, right. So the only problem with putting in the washing machine is, is the, the buttons. That's all I have to do. I do have to stick it in something because I can't. Oh, move, yeah. you should do the buttonholes, the buttons on the. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the cuff. <laughs> but I, yes, the cufflink buttonhole. Right. But you didn't do that. But I didn't do it on that one. That's no. OK. Right. And then I can do a little promo for the custom fit because I, I, love, I was looking. I get a ton of custom. I fits love here. I love custom fit because it works for me. Right. Because it, it will work for anybody. Anybody, right? Anybody, right? So if you've done a custom fit, tell me in the comments. Yeah. I know a lot of you have. And this was the Rowan yarn that. Rowan Revive. The Revive. Yeah, right. They don't have it anymore. They don't have it anymore. But yeah. this is pretty. Boy, that really looks nice. This right. has been washed and stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. Softens up a lot. Yeah. I think Chris Guy was making a sweater in this. Her custom fit is in the Revive. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Spanish bag, right? This is pretty. Right. It's, uh, yeah. it's got a pretty little right. lace trim. That's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did this cocoa nips. I think this is kind of fun. This cocoa nips Petra. Very light, very lacy, kind of open. Again, it's on a size 11 needle with a, a fine yarn. But that, I like that drapey, drapey kind of front. This you can still get on Ravelry. This is, again, like I said, it's called Petra by Cocoa Knits. Super cute. It's knit all in one piece from the bottom up. I'm sure that she has a new version that's mm -hmm. knit from the top down, probably, but it still works. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to show this one. There's an oldie but goodie. <laughs> this has to be from 2005, yeah. but I still love this. How many of you have the book, The Knit Stitch by Sally Melville? Again, pre-Ravelry, but this is a super cute sweater. It's just really, it's cropped. You know, and I don't usually wear cropped, but this just works for some reason. And the body of it here is done on a size five needle in garter stitch with a, a cotton. 
I used a cotton that they don't make anymore. It's called Provence cotton, but it's very similar to hand knit cotton. You could also use Summer Light Decay or you could use the cotton linen. That would be perfect. But the body is worked um, in garter stitch on a small needle. And then the sleeves and this upper portion, which are kind of see-through, are knit on that same small needle in one hand and a 10 and a half needle on the other. So you get this cool kind of, um, well, like there's an opaque and then it's sort of open. Can you see how that's kind of open? And she did a really cute version where the whole back of the one was um, open and the front was covered. So it's kind of peekaboo. <laughs> But anyway, this is this is a great sweater. And that when you get that mercerized cotton like that, it really does wear well. I think that would be nice in the linen. I might make yeah. another one of those. Mm -hmm. I would do that in the white. Mm -hmm. Let's see what everybody thinks. All right. Yes, Ellen has done three custom fits. Norm has done custom fit. Evelyn has. Um, let's see. Alicia, you like that one? I think that one's fun too. Would it work with the silk Noro? Uh, okay, Ellen, which one would which one work with the silk Noro? Make sure that you let me know because I want to answer your question. And let me also share with you, I didn't even get this out. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, where did I put it? Oh, there you which go. one are you, what, what are you talking about? The which one are you talking about? The Keisha, Keisha. Oh, the Keisha, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so this is my favorite latest creation, which is the Keisha sweater. And if you are a club member, the whole class for the Keisha sweater is inside that membership. And it's just basically a my first sweater walks you through every single aspect of how to make a sweater from, you know, choosing the yarn and how much to buy and how to swatch and how to read a chart and how to read a pattern and how to you know, the fact that you need to do your, your borders on smaller needles and how to change needles and um, how to do a three needle bind off and how to pick up stitches and pick up stitches in stockinette and in garter mm -hmm. stitch and how to, how to seam. And yeah, so this is, this is a great little sweater. And I think everybody who's made this has been super happy with it. Mm -hmm. I have a couple pictures of folks on Instagram wearing this, but I love this. And this is easy. You know, we could do this again with a, like a, a different little neck, or we could mm -hmm. also do it and add a little sleeve. What do you think? Yeah. Like you the up and a, down tee? Yeah. Put a, yeah, yeah. Put a, a little, tiny more sleeve. More like a cap. A little yeah. Hang. What do you think? Mm -hmm. sure. You guys like that? Would you like this with the almost no sleeve? Or would you like to see another version with a tiny little bit of a cap sleeve? I did this in Soft Jack DK, but you could also do it in the linen. You could do it in um, hand cotton. You could do it in silk. You could do it in almost anything. No, yeah. Anything that works. It's about 18 stitches over four inches. Yeah. yeah. So okay. that's fun. Okay. All right. Keyboard issues. Oh. The Triton for Sonata. Okay, so Sonata. Yes, you could do you could do Triton and Sonata. Triton was um, I think twenty three. I did it on a US four or five. But yeah, the Sonata would be really nice. It's going to have a different feel. The Sonata because yeah, Sonata, Sonata has a little bit of that thick and thin stuff to it going on, every and it's soft, and it's soft. Whereas the very the, drapey, yeah, mm -hmm. this this yarn is very kind of crisp. Yeah. That's why I was thinking the new Rowan, uh, the new Noro paper yarn mm -hmm. would be nice. I need to try that on a teeny weeny needle. Yeah, Mary did it on what an eight? Oh uh, no, it was more like a six. Really? Yeah. Well, well I'm going to play with it, and then we'll no, talk about it next yeah. time. Mm -hmm. How exciting is that, though, huh? A paper yarn. Doesn't that sound cool? Yeah. yeah. It's, got, it's got other stuff there. It's got linen in it. Yeah, <laughs> lots of other stuff there, too, for well, sure. Like three flies, one of which is paper. And is Mary, that how Mary, Mary, she pulled it apart? Pulled of course it apart. she did. <laughs> of course she did. 
Mm -hmm. I love that. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to share with you a couple. Let's see. Cap sleeve. Okay. Sharon says she would like cap sleeve. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, I think we'll just we'll put another one out there. Maybe okay. make a different little lace pattern in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a little eyelet, like a little triple, mm -hmm. you know, like a little blossom mm -hmm. lace. Mm -hmm. Or maybe something vertical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With a cap sleeve. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we also owe Ellen a pattern. We do. Yeah. We we'll get on that. We, we owe her a pattern for two different yards. <laughs> yeah. Time flies. We are aware of it, Ellen. Yes, we are aware of it. Okay, so I am also going to do some shameless plugs here for Custom Fit. Not only because Custom Fit is something that allows you to make a sweater that fits you perfectly, it's also the perfect answer for when I just want a sweater that looks like whatever. Okay, and this was me. I just want a sweater that's cut in at the shoulder and has a little cowl neck and some waist shaping. And so I went to my little custom fit program and it allows you to design almost anything you want. So I designed this, which I think is a pretty little, I wear this a lot. If you've seen any of the podcasts, I wear this a lot in the summer. I wear it under the jacket that I have on. I wear it under a blouse. <laughs> Just like Ginny always has all the hand knit t-shirts. I have all the hand knit like cut in sleeveless shirts. Cut in sleeveless shirts. Right? <laughs> because that's my personal style, which is why the red one doesn't work for me. <laughs> but this is this is great. So this is the kind of thing that you can do and you know that it's going to fit you just right because it's based on your measurements so this is one that i did pretty little mm -hmm. cowl neck mm -hmm. and it, i feel sad when people say oh what's the pattern for that well you have to have make it you have to have a custom fit mm -hmm. so here's another example of that a lot of you did this with me this is my custom fit square neck tank mm -hmm. i wear this all the time also little mm -hmm. tank I got a very nice compliment from a 20 something when I was wearing this. She said, you know, knit tanks are really stylish. Oh, oh good. I know. It's like, who knew? I don't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> You're stylish. You just don't wear knit tanks. There are lots of other ways to be stylish, Jenny. I think you're way stylish. Okay, what else I got in here? Okay, here's another beige sweater. See a theme going on. This is a custom fit. This is not one I designed. This is a, um, this is Borask. I love this. This is my kind of summer sweater. Three quarter sleeve, nice cotton. This is an A line. This is that. All right. Yeah, this would be nice in cotton glass, eh? Mm -hmm. A little bit shiny. I like a yarn that's a little bit shiny. Yeah. I love the colors of cotton glacé, which is why I think What's I your like favorite? to do something. Well, there are several. What yeah. are you going to do in cotton glacé? I don't know. Do you like Dijon? No, you don't like tanks. No. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, never mind. That's a wrong question. Um, <laughs> actually, there's what I said. I was looking at, this is, I think this is done in cotton glacé. Agatha? And no, was, that's cotton cashmere. I wrote this down of what it was. All the books, all the things in this book are cotton cashmere. I don't think so. Oh my God, you are right. Look at you. She's right. Oh, how could I possibly? Well, obviously, you haven't talked to Chuck often enough. <laughs> Why? He says you're always right. You're she is pretty much always right. The only, time I, was, the only time I was wrong was when I said I was wrong, but I was really right. <laughs> It's true. When Ginny says something, she's usually right. So anyway, I, I thought this was kind of cute. Um, I would probably make it longer. Um, it's called up. Agatha. Is this right? the pink? The pink and, pink and okay, white striped one. How many right? if you can see this? Uh, but, yeah. the other that way. one. Yeah, that way. Yeah. yeah. So That's a raglan. Do you wear raglans? Well, no. Yeah. I mean, I could wear I could wear a raglan. It's just a, it's a loose thing. And I know loose, loose stuff is kind of in now. It's kind of boxy. But I, I would probably make it longer. So. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't think you're going to need to make it longer. It's important. 
and you've told, I've heard you tell customers this, right? Mm -hmm. It's important to actually look at how long the sweater is because you don't know how tall that model is. True. I don't know. You uh, don't know how, how long it is on her. I mean, right. I, would, I want, I would want it to be probably a little longer than that on me. Right. I mean, she's, she's sitting on a stool. Um, so it's kind of above her hip line. And so. I would say that if you looked at that schematic and we compared the length of the oh, entire body to the length of your body, you would find that it hits you pretty close to where you want it because you're all legs. Mm. We'd have to look at I, it. I, but I, you see I, what I'm I, saying? This is a thing about you can't just look at a pattern. And I'm not picking at Jenny. Jenny knows that's this. Okay. She, she I mean, lectures <laughs> people on this too. You have to look at the length of the sweater relative to the length of your own body because the way it looks on the on the model is no indication i mean my torso is a lot longer than the models torsos they're all they have a little bitty they're like like spiders little little bitty body and fabulously long legs right what does it say okay she is supposedly wearing a 36 38 this mannequin, this model is wearing a 36, That's what it 38. says here. The man, it says model is wearing a sample size 36, 38. And it is a 36, 38 is 21 and a quarter inches long from shoulder to hand. Okay. That is short. Yeah. <laughs> In case she was right again. That would be short for me. That would be short for me. Yeah. 21 inches 21 and a quarter inches because mm -hmm. think about this i like 15 inches from or 14 inches nowadays with the higher waisty pants mm -hmm. 14 inches from armhole to hem and i have an eight, eight that's 22. 22 that's 22. so mm -hmm. it's not that short yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's not really that short yeah i would probably be more like 24. No. What's your arm hold a hem for a standard sweater? No, fifteen. Okay. And what's your arm hold depth? Eight. Okay. Eight and fifteen is what? Twenty-three. Oh. Fifteen. A little shorter than twenty-four. <laughs> you could get away with it short though. Mm. You'd be cute on you. Perhaps. Maybe we'll have you wear a cropped one. You can wear one of those crop sweaters. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. and, um, why wouldn't you? So, why wouldn't you wear a crop sweater, Jenny? Let's so talk this, about this. Why wouldn't I wear a crop and sweater? And I'm not talking about a crop sweater that shows your belly, um, belly button ring. I'm talking about a crop sweater that you wear over like a close-fitting T-shirt. Because the close-fitting T-shirt would not hide the spare tire. <laughs> okay. So what? So I don't want to expose my spare tire to the world. Do you think everything you wear covers your spare tire? Or no, it's, you can see it right now. It's right there. <laughs> it's there. And I think you look great. And nobody's looking at that. You know what they're looking at? How pretty you look in that sweater. Oh, yeah. Well, see, that's why you wear something that sort of catches other people's eyes. <laughs> right? <laughs> so. yeah. Wouldn't it be great if we could just knit stuff? To, to highlight the parts of ourselves that we like instead of covering, instead of focusing on the parts of ourselves we don't like and trying to cover that up? Well, you know, how many of you do that? There, do there's, you do a that? Re there's a reason somebody came out with Spanx. Uh, yeah, she's an angel, a goddess. Right. She should be deified. Right. <laughs> Although, I mean, I certainly I can't imagine wearing something like that all the time. So, Have you ever had one on? Uh, I've had um, something that went from here to there on, yes. Yeah. They're pretty uncomfortable. Extremely uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Extremely uncomfortable. I just prefer pantyhose. People ask me why you wear why I like pantyhose because I think like Spanx. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but, but pantyhose isn't in anymore. I know that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Pantyhose are like way out. They're like as out as girdles are. Mm -hmm. They don't have girdles anymore. They have Spanx. I know. <laughs> I remember girdles. Do you? I remember when they first came out with pre pantyhose. When they first came out with pantyhose? Pre pantyhose. What's that? Round the clock company <laughs> came out with a panty that was um it 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 had a little, you know, 
pressure to it, not like a girdle, but it had some elastic on it. It was tight. So it was, it was, it was not tight, but it was controlling, right? Somewhat mm -hmm. controlling. And around the leg holes, there was like this um, elastic that had little holes in it. And you bought hose that instead of coming up mid thigh where the garter belt or the girdles, you know, things would come down and hook in. If any of you remember any of that or your, <laughs> mo your mothers were wearing it or your grandmothers were wearing it. Um, instead of doing that, the panty, the, the hose came all the way up to that pants, panty line and they had little hooks on them, like hooks and eyes. Oh my God. And the hooks hooked into that little elastic thing around the bottom that had the holes in it. How long did it take you to get into that get up? Not very long because it was two pieces. I mean, you just pulled on the panties and then you pulled on each stocking and you hooked the stocking to your panties. Hmm. And then once you were hooked in, you were fine. Even for going to places like the ladies room. <laughs> it didn't require a whole lot of, you know, so around. I always wondered about that. How did you get And you bought that? the you bought the hose in lengths. Oh. And it was great because I could mm -hmm. buy long hose. Mm -hmm. Because when they just had the garter belts or the girdles, the hose all came to the same length. And when I got tall at 15, <laughs> it was a struggle to get hose, you know, to hook on to your garter belt. You know, maybe the garter belt used to have like a, like bras do, you know, you could change the length mm -hmm. of the thing. So, you know, so this is a lesson for all of you people who are so much younger than I am. <laughs> I think people know, know how what, lucky you what, are. What garter belts look like, but not for utilitarian purposes. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Now they come in like, I yeah. don't know, black lace and well, they always came in black lace. They did? <laughs> of course. I don't know. Red, I lace, had red lace, black lace. Why not? Really, they did? Of course. My goodness. What do you think Marie Antoinette was wearing? <laughs> not that. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. She's probably not wearing anything. I don't think they wore anything in those days. No. Well, now we have a history <laughs> lesson and a lingerie lesson. <laughs> All right, Polly, Polly remembers. Okay. Please explain how to access custom fit. Okay, oh. custom fit. So custom fit is a program. Um, you can go to customfitsweaters.com and you can sign yourself up for an account and you can do it all there. Or you can join Club Crazy for You and we can do it for you. And when you join Club Crazy for You, you not only have access to the custom fit patterns at a reduced price, you have access to the class on how to knit a custom, custom fit, fit sweater mm -hmm. in six weeks. So it's very, very cool. And we help you get your measurements and we actually do all the hard stuff, which is help you decide, you know, what kind of, you know, what what fit you like and, and how to get your length just right. So it's kind of a, a safety net. It's very, very cool. And you can do that by going to club.crazyforyou.com, which is a most excellent and fun place to be. Um, in the club, I go live four times a week, three times on Thursdays and once on Sundays, which is exclusively for sweaters and custom fit. And then we do knit alongs and we have this great, fun community of lovely people that hang out and know each other and it's good stuff and then we've got all the recorded classes in there like all the other custom fit classes mm -hmm. that we've done are in there that you have access to while you're a member and we have the knitting toolbox and this my first sweater class and lots of good stuff there's a class called flawless finishing which is all about how to block your sweater and how to seam it up and how to set in a sleeve and pick up stitches, all good stuff. So and that's a, really fun. And next custom fit coming up. Next in... custom fit starts May 15th. Okay. And we help you do your swatch, help you figure out how to make your swatch. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot to it. I'm not saying that you can't do a custom fit without mm -hmm. Club Crazy For You because you absolutely can. But I can't tell you how many people have come to Club Crazy For You because custom fit on your own. Mm -hmm. 
is it's challenging. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot to it, you know. I mean, a lot of the people that are on the um, podcast tonight will tell you that. Well, you guys can can say what you think yourself. Um, so, is it all in person? I live a couple of hours away. Oh no, darling, it's not all in person. It's all virtual. We have people in Maine. We have a couple. Alicia is in California. Ellen Orr is in uh, New, New Orleans. Orleans. Sandy Cloutier is in Maine. Um, gosh, who else? Rita's in Virginia. She's several hours away. Amy Briggs yeah, is several too. hours away. Evelyn is a couple hours away. So yeah, I mean, this is all this is all virtual, but it doesn't feel like virtual any more than this really feels like virtual, you know, mm -hmm. because it's Zoom. And, you know, this is this, like a podcast is kind of one way. I mean, I can talk to you guys through the com comments and stuff, but it's Ginny and me talking, right? In Zoom, it's like everybody talking. If you have a question or whatever, you bring it to, um, you know, you bring it to any of the Zoom things and you ask questions and we do that. Oh, I also do a flock talk on Thursdays, which is um, some kind of presentation on some technique related to sweaters or generally knitting. We do a lot of sweaters, but it it's really about taking your knitting to the next level. Um, Custom Fit is a part of Club Crazy for You. It's not all of Club Crazy for You. And a lot of the Club Crazy for You is is the, it, the, what the topics are, uh, in many cases, created by the members. Right. Because they're, they have questions on anything that they might be working on of, you know, tell me what I should be doing about. And it's, it's a topic that everybody is going to be interested in. Yeah. And so it gets covered. Right. Uh, um, an opportunity for people to hone their skills. Right. You, yeah. yeah. It's about taking it to the next level. And there's a lot of stuff. I mean, I like to, to say that you get a lot of um, unconscious competence. You know, there's a lot of stuff you don't, or it starts with the unconscious incompetence. Like you don't even know what you don't know until somebody else is like, how do I do this? And you're like, oh my gosh, should I be thinking about that? How do I do that? And then you're like, oh, okay, well, I'll do that. And, you know, you learn a lot just from other people's questions. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, somebody, you know, will, somebody will ask a question about, you know, how do I do a certain thing? And it's not anything that you've ever heard of before. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And it's very cool because we also have this wonderful community in our circle community, which is kind of has a look and feel of a Facebook group, but it's not Facebook because mm -hmm. I'm so over Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> just, Facebook issues are down here. <laughs> so, so over it. Plus, it's private. It's our private community, right? Only members in there. So you can say whatever you want and you're not going to get tracked and there's no ads in there. And, you know, you know, and you can use, honestly, I love to help you get your yarn. I love to, you know, sell you yarn. But if every, we all know you have stash. Everybody has stash or you have yarn you bought wherever you want to use up. In the club, you can pretty much use whatever yarn you want. And, you know, you still get the same level of great help and assistance mm -hmm. and guidance and whatever. So I like it. I think it's fun. And, I, you know, we have lots and lots of happy, happy members. So, you know, if you're interested, you want a, um, like a tour of the thing, send me an email. Send me an email at ellen at crazyforyou.com. And um, I'll give you a tour. You know, we'll get on a Zoom call and I'll walk you through what there is. And you can see. So let's see what else. Alicia. Oh, everyone is. Let's see what Alicia says. It is wonderful. Alicia said. Yay. I'm glad you love it. We love you too. Yes, you can join from Portugal. Oh, my, oh goodness. my goodness. We would love to have you join from Portugal. You have to teach us some, some Portuguese. But yes, you can absolutely. And the thing about it is the stuff that's relevant like the flock talks are all recorded. All of the classes that we do, like when I do custom fit in six weeks, everything is recorded. So you can watch it while it's live. You can watch it again the next day or the next day or, you know, six months from now. Like if you joined today, you would still have access to the custom fit that we just finished like three weeks ago. You could go through that whole thing. And the thing that's interesting is because I do it live, you're going to hear different things every time. And because the people are different and the class, the, the projects are different, like I said, it's it's a little bit different every time. And I don't know about you, but 
I need to hear something several times before I really internalize it and get it. So, yeah. So that's kind of fun. So I would love to have you. It would be really fun. And again, if you're interested in a, in a little tour, um, send me an email. And we'll jump on a Zoom call and, um, like I said, I'll walk you through whatever. So that's super fun. Oh, we're late. I wanted to give a, um, I wanted to give a prize. So let's do this. Let me set this up. All right. It's going to be a little different this time because, um, because I don't have two screens. So let me figure out how to do this. If you just want to hang with me for a real quick second, I can set this up and, um, I apologize for this being so late. All right. This is going to be... Okay. So if you're still with us, the word you're going to put in the comments is summer. I have two skeins of one of my favorite yarns for summer, which is Rowan Cotton Cashmere. It's a beautiful yarn, and this would be a lovely little shawlette for you. Um, this is a um, DK light worsted weight yarn. It's 80% um, cotton, 20% cashmere. Isn't that right? Check me on that, Jenny. Something like that. Something like that. It's a beautiful on. yarn. So put that in there, and um, yeah, we'll give this away. We'll send this right out to you if you win. This has been fun. 80, uh, 85, 15. Okay, you so 85, 15, 85% cotton, 15% 15. cashmere, and it's a beautiful summer yarn that washes mm -hmm. and dries really nicely. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah, soft, soft. Mm -hmm. Looks really great with Kids Hill Haze, too. I just finished a um, sweater we did with that. Let's see. Hi, Jane. Hi, Norma. All right. figure out how to share this green <laughs> on this. I'm going to share Chrome tab. Is this the one? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to share my screen. And I am going to draw. All right. Let's see. Yay. All right. Wonderful. All right. So that was fun. <laughs> that worked. Oh, I got this whole setup, you know, my little phone for our camera tonight. I don't have our normal camera. I just have our little laptop. A but... little laptop. I'll tell you, she's a techie. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. Well, she's way beyond me. <laughs> We're working it. We're working it. Oh, anyway, my goodness. Well, this was fun. Thank you guys for hanging with us. I'm sorry we went a little bit over, but um, Gail, I will get this to you unless you want to come to the shop and visit. We do miss you. Don't forget that this weekend, if you are local, is local yarn store day. We would love to have you in. We're going to have you know, fun and I'm, I'm making cookies and we'll have balloons and we have beautiful new projects and their free pattern codes and all that kind of stuff. And it's just going to be a great time. And then Sunday is our Magnolia knit along kickoff. I'm going to do that um, on Zoom at 11 o'clock and I'm going to do it in the shop live at one. So that's going to be super fun. So it's not too late to sign up for that. If you're interested, you know, you can post a comment and let me know that you want to do that and I'll send you an email. But lots and lots of fun stuff going on. If you're not already subscribed to the newsletter, subscribe to the newsletter by going to crazyforyou.com. And I would love it if you would subscribe to the YouTube channel. That would be super fun to have you as subscribers. So thank you guys for being with us tonight. And it's thank great. you for thank being you. here, Jenny. Oh, it's always fun. It is fun. It's always <laughs> we fun. have a good yeah, time together. Good time. All right. Thank you and good night. Good night.